On Sunday, Houthi fighters hijacked a cargo ship in the Red Sea off the coast of Yemen. The 189-meter-long, 620-feet-long, Galaxy Leader car carrier, traveling from Turkey to India, was intercepted by small fast boats and boarded by uniformed, armed personnel. No shots were fired, and the seized ship is a civilian vessel sailing between neutral countries, but the incident still has the potential to trigger a serious escalation in the latest Israel-Palestine conflict. In the worst-case scenario, it could be the first move in drawing the United States and Iran into direct involvement in the war. Houthi spokesman Yehya Seri confirmed that the ship was seized for being Israeli-owned in line with his earlier announcement that the group would not hesitate to target any Israeli vessel in the Red Sea or any place we can reach. Israel has denied any link with the vessel although ownership details and public shipping databases suggest it is owned by one of Israel's richest men. Most of the Red Sea is wider than 200 kilometers, 124 miles, but its southern end, the Bab al-Mandeb Passage, is a choke point less than 20 kilometers, 12 miles, wide from the Yemeni island of Mayun across to the coast of Djibouti and Eritrea. The Iran-backed Houthis say the move was a response to Israel's assault on Gaza. A partly Israeli-owned cargo vessel has been hijacked by Yemen's Houthi rebels in the Red Sea. The Iran-backed Houthis say the move was a response to Israel's assault on Gaza. Israel described the incident as an Iranian act of terrorism. Tehran has rejected the allegation. It seems that again Iran is the key. If the taking of the galaxy leader was an independent Houthi action not instigated by Tehran, the U.S. could engage in quiet diplomacy to nudge Iran into reigning in its proxy and avoiding new hijackings at sea. This might be the most realistic way out, but only if all parties involved show restraint. The stakes are high. Another hijacking could have a snowball effect, pulling other countries more actively into an already devastating conflict and pushing it to the point of no return.